Discover Wisconsin's Hidden Treasures, Metal Detecting Guide. Wisconsin's rich cultural history and vast landscapes make it a prime destination for metal detecting enthusiasts. Its proximity to the Great Lakes adds the allure of discovering shipwrecks and lost treasures along the shores. Before starting your adventure, it's essential to understand Wisconsin's regulations and obtain necessary permits. We'll guide you through the state's laws, best detecting spots, suitable detectors, and tips for successful detection. Metal detecting in Wisconsin is regulated, especially on state-owned lands and older artifacts. Always obtain permission for private properties and notify local authorities before detecting in public areas like towns and parks. Notable detecting spots in Wisconsin include caves, woods, beaches, and ghost towns. The southern coastline of Lake Michigan is fruitful for gold prospecting and relics of old cultures are common finds. Recommended detectors for Wisconsin are the Minilab Equinox 800 and Fisher models. These are suitable for various terrains, from beaches to forests, and help maximize your chances of discovery. Joining a metal detecting club in Wisconsin can provide valuable resources. Clubs offer hunt programs, training, counseling, and exclusive access to certain areas. Popular clubs include the Mid-State MD Club and Four Lakes MD Club. To legally explore historical sites and beaches, obtain permission from the State Historical Society and the Archaeological Resources Prevention Act. Permits are also required for detecting in city parks and on private property. Spring and fall are ideal for detecting in wooded areas, while summer is best for beaches. Historical relics, gold nuggets, and artifacts are common finds. Some notable spots include Nelson Caves, Crivets Woods, and abandoned towns like Donaldson and Star Lake. Safety precautions are crucial. Be aware of hazardous materials like discarded needles and broken glass. Also, prepare for potential wildlife encounters, including snakes and bears, by carrying protective gear such as bear spray. 